Saying right up, whether or not I agree with you about any of this, I will never take your side against this on. So like, oh, I know, but at least I just I'm want people to see. I'm gonna push back on everything you say. I know, say, but I just want people to see how bad faith you are. And then you afterwards, know? maybe I'll give That's some okay. opinions. That's alright. I just want people to see how bad faith you are. Public facing. Yeah. I'm Team Hassan. That's okay. Here for all of you guys is the here fish Look, and Desi. We were he, that was his dog. We had a special bond. You really like dogs. I like animals. That's why I like women. Your problem, Lab, is you are assuming that Cherry is like just f lying. Okay. Now it she could did be. Just lie. It could, she did just lie. Saying something that is not true is not the same as lying. Do you understand that? So you're saying, um, saying something that's not true isn't the same as lying because she didn't mean it. Like she made. Correct. A she made a mistake. Okay. A lie <laughs> implies intent. Okay. If I tell you no. I'm gonna be home by five, yes, it does. You dumb. B I'm gonna talk directly to him. Okay, he's not gonna watch this. He so. reacted to one clip of yours where you say you're reacting to some black streamer and you say something like, oh, black people just scream and shout and they're just like very primal. They're just like animals and savages. That's what you said and Hassan like just spouted wisdom and he was like, Destiny, that's not cool. I don't think he re reacted to this clip. No, he did. He was like, I don't like to talk about Destiny. Oh, okay. But I'm gonna talk about this. That was before I met you, because I was looking you up, and then I saw the T. And then when I saw Hassan was against you, I was gonna cancel my flight. Because I'm kind of like, team Hassan. I know you guys had beef. If I did, I would have strategized a little bit better. Okay. So, this is for Hassan. Okay. I just, I feel like you put him down too much. Yeah. You think he's dumb. I, I, I don't think he's dumb, I just think he's boring you think he doesn't believe what he means he might but his beliefs are vapid and shallow you said on lex friedman and i watched it yeah to stalk you uh you said he has like you have no respect for him as a political figure no if he didn't ghost you would you still feel that way yeah so did you tell him this when you guys were friends that's kind of what we fought about before the last fight that he had really bad political takes yeah but then you still think he believes them, they're just bad. I think he believe he probably believes them, I guess. Yeah, as much as he can. like I don't think that he's like secretly like red pill or secretly like conservative. I mean he's a big capitalist, obviously, as you can see from the way he lives his lifestyle. What do you mean? That he has a rich car, he's got a huge mansion, he buys designer clothes and jewelry, and he maximizes the profit that he makes every single day instead of actually contributing to leftist causes in meaningful ways. How, what would that look like? Uh, it might be funding like co-ops or starting co-ops of his own. It might Doesn't be showing... he do that? Doesn't he do that with like his merch company? Doesn't I think with like some random irrelevant side businesses, but for the main line share of the money that he makes, no, he's very much a capitalist. I'm just giving you himself. pushback in case he I know you this. are, but it's because you're saying things with the understanding that maybe I don't have anything to say in response, but I can actually knock down every single retarded point that you bring up to defend your favorite content creator, and I want you to feel the oppressive weight of my knowledge and understanding about how much I dislike his model. Do you feel it? No, I think he's. Really, I think you are feeling I it. I think he's very personable. And oh like, yeah, the way personable. You're like what does that have to do with politics? Because he doesn't do shut me Hitler, down because I'm a woman. He doesn't go. Oh, he doesn't don't shut you down because he's not going to talk to you mainstream. because you don't have enough followers on your Instagram. What are you? My Instagram. Yeah. What are you talking about? You'll only talk to people that are a certain level of fame. That's not true. Really? DM him. Ooh, you're about to realize what happens when you run into a true clout demon. Oh no, she. Th wait, 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 wait. Can we do this on the last day? Because you're gonna be. A I know what it's like when a pretty woman tries to DM a guy and they don't respond, and this is gonna break you. So I don't want you to. I don't want this to be like for the next five days. Me picking up the pieces of you moping around the house, like, oh, I thought it was special. Oh no, you know. No, I'm just flattered you called me pretty, but um, so that will like even that out, that rejection. Yeah. Do you think I wouldn't call you pretty? When it makes up like 98% of like who you are, you know, I feel like. I yeah, wait, what were we yeah. saying before I said I was going to DM him? I was going to say slang. Uh, I think I was just oppressively crushing you with the weight of my criticisms of Hassan. Oh, why he's personable, why that's a good thing. Because oh, yeah. you're very hostile towards me because I'm mm -hmm. a woman and he accepts women and that's why he's mainstream. Really? Because he doesn't just shut me down. He doesn't say that like dumb shit like, oh, women don't actually care about politics. He creates Oh, no, he says really smart women things actually like feel women are beautiful. And talk about and... their opinions. Oh, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Versus when I ask you, where do you fall politically? You answer and then instead of asking me back, where do you fall politically? You go, do you care about politics? So I'm like, okay, I'm not going to engage in this text conversation. Oh, kind of like when we had a conversation about rape and you were like, oh, I thought that you genuinely just think that women were the reason why they got raped only. I'm <laughs> you sorry. Know? Were it's kind of like we make assumptions verbatim? about each other. What? Were those uh, not yeah. your words verbatim? No, they weren't. There People was act like I used like an AI generated voice to generate that clip. Like what you said wasn't that far off. This is why we're going to redo the clip. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. So that way when I ruin your career, so you can 
Victoria DMs me for another yeah. yeah conversation. Yeah, you should thank me. I resurrected I, that bridge. Oh my god, how true! Victoria said what you were. What was her insult to you? Uh, it was my insult to her, actually. Oh, she said the same thing I did. That you're horrible to women in debates. And in, yet here you are. Hanging out, so I must not be that yeah. horrible. Yeah. Because I'm resurrecting my OnlyFans. Right <laughs> oh, now. yeah? Is that why? Yeah. What is that? OnlyFans.com slash, is it Mia Khalifa? How do you spell the last name? F A R H A K H A L I D I. Nice. Hassan. We could have just did a Zoom call if you wanted to, you know, plug your OnlyFans. I think I'm with Hassan. I was so excited. Oh, yeah? Are you? I'm so excited to see you on that stream, actually. On Hassan's? Absolutely. Because you're definitely going to be right there. Well, in between Grimes and Christian Walker that? and Elon Musk. Yeah, you're going to be Did yeah. you see that Twitter fight you was having with, like, uh... Yeah, the black woman. Hoxa. I'm friends with her. The black woman? She has a name. I don't know how to pronounce it, but she has a name. Wow, that's way better. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, she's Why don't you try pronouncing it? In. What did you say it was? Hoxa? Hoxa Hwani? Yeah, wow. She comments on my TikToks with fresh and fancy. I think that's a racial girl. slur from the country she's from, but okay. Where's she from? Don't worry about it. Anyway, you she's going to she's gonna be my it. ticket onto the stream. Okay. You think she's going to go on his stream? No, she actually already said no. She's like, why would we address this on stream? It's such a minuscule issue. Wow. But she was okay saying that he hated black women. Wait, say that again? Didn't she say that he hated black women? She said a specific word. That meant that. Miss our, miss, uh, miss, misogynoir. Misogynoir. That's, I love that word. I hope people use that about me in the future. That's because he said like that one thing about Nicki Minaj, right? Or is no, it's because he told her to get on hair replacement shit and made fun of her receding hairline. What does that have to do with black women? Wow. Really? I saw you entangled me, in that drama. I'm just gonna give like you. Let me no help reason. you. Let me help you out here, okay? I'm just gonna give you a little. Bit I feel of like you. I know I'm just. A, I'm not like just a white guy, but here is like a tip for everybody: it. when it comes to black women, just in general, if you don't know, just don't say anything negative about their hair. Just don't speak to them about That's their your hair. Advice. About their hair. It's just a bad idea. He just wasn't don't speaking on her hair. He was speaking on her forehead. It it was an expanding territory that he probably shouldn't have remarked about. Yeah. I just think, like, you do like him. Hassan? Yeah. I mean, in a way, yeah, sure. In what way? I mean, he's a funny guy. He's, like, fun to hang around and, like, you tell jokes, don't you? just said he's boring. You? Politically, when we talk about politics. Do you ever watch his, like, cultural reactions, like, to Jubilee and stuff like that? No, sorry. What? You mentioned <laughs> his political reactions and things. Uh, social stuff? No. I said cultural. Cultural, no. Like, he reacts like... Yeah, his reaction is, what do progressives think... Click, and That's then actually not true. Maybe for the political stuff more so, but when he's reacting to like the cultural Jubilee stuff. Dance. Oh my god, does he give like really out there non progressive advice? Give me what's one non progressive social take he's got? I'm so curious about this. I just said cultural, like reacting to like social dynamics. Yeah, what's like a non progressive social dynamic he's reacting to? I'm so curious. Like, what's a take he's giving? We're like, wow, I wouldn't have expected Hassan to say that. I wouldn't have that reaction because I don't pigeonhole him the way you do, so I wouldn't have. Well, be he pigeonholes be himself. Like, oh, I wow, just, he said something new. Oh, you're just not just aware think, of what okay, progressives think, so you don't realize that he perfectly like the Venn diagram between Hassan's beliefs and progressives is two overlaying circles. But that's okay. So I'm just curious. What's like a social view that he has where you're like, oh, um, I, I can't believe he said that. I'm so surprised that Hassan had that take. I didn't say his views don't overlap with progressives. I'm just saying I, I think it mm -hmm. comes from like. He yeah, streams so give me for a 12 hours a day. Where do you think he's one? getting his ideas from? Um, I don't know, from whatever garbage progressive shit that he reads or watches. And what about you? Uh, they are generated by an internally consistent algorithm that I have that gives me unique ethical and applied political positions. Just being positions. a contrarian piece of shit? Yeah, is that what you think I am? <laughs> That's so funny. So anyway, um, let's circle back. <clears throat> What's the thing that Hassan has said about like a social or cultural it's thing that's It's just like, I like the way he reacts to people. Like, yeah. When he goes, ha, 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 that one. Is that what you like so much about Hassan stream? Wait, what? What was that noise? Tell me, that was his laugh, yeah. Give me, go ahead and give me a take. I'm just saying, okay, when he reacts to people, I feel like he, like when he reacts to Ben Shapiro and he reacts to Joe Rogan. Ben like, Shapiro? Well, I thought we were talking social or cultural things. Was it a social or cultural take by Ben Shapiro? Or no, you, you said, give me a take. He said, I can't give you a take based on a reaction oh, video to like a date. So you, so you don't have date. any. That's okay if you don't have any. That's fine. I'm saying I feel like he's very nuanced when it comes to like interpersonal dating I didn't say dynamics. he wasn't nuanced. I said he'll give a take that every progressive would give. Progressives can have some nuanced takes on things. 
It's okay that he's just a copy paste. That's actually not true because then he wouldn't be in this scuffle about black women's foreheads. Do you really think case. that he's in that scuffle because he has like a, a nuanced socio socio political take about black women's receding hairlines, or do you think he just got mad at somebody on Twitter and flamed them? Okay, there was one thing he said that I don't think progressives were saying. He was saying, um, "Yeah, <laughs> white homeless people don't have white privilege." That's what he said. <laughs> so brave. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well, Hassan's basically <laughs> broken the mold in the bravest in the bravest of ways. Yeah. Wow. Did he really say that though? Because white homeless people do okay, have white privilege. So that's him? actually Sorry. not even true. If he did your... say that, it's actually a dumb take. So it's kind of funny if he actually said it because it's wrong. White homeless people probably do have white privilege. No, I didn't it's agree a... with him, but uh -huh. I thought it was an unprogressive take. Was wow. You just said you didn't say to give a good take. You said a non-progressive. I did take. say that, and if he did say that, hats off to Hassan. I'm surprised that he actually said that. That's funny. Anything else that's bouncing around that head of yours? Have you watched him react to like Joe Rogan? Or... Fuck no. I feel like he has good reactions. Really? Like he calls out Joe Rogan's wow, uh, just like logical fallacies a lot. Like just his like thought patterns. Like I feel like the way mm -hmm. he does it, it feels like it's coming from a visceral place. It doesn't feel like he's regurgitating something. That's it feels really like cool. Mm -hmm. When I react to Joe Rogan spreading misinformation, I like to do like a day or six of like actual research so that I can respond to the substantive stuff that's being said. But if you really like him just going like, oh, Joe Rogan's real bad about this issue, I'm happy for you. I'm glad for you for that. That's really cool. I like that. Mm. I really respect that about you. I mean, I was watching both of you at a uh -huh. certain time. Yeah. Now I'm kind of back to him a little bit because you're mean to me. Yeah. And so far he's been ignoring you yeah. completely. Yeah. 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 That's good. Yeah. Ethan ignored me. After Ethan he did? The, he said, like, uh, Ethan Klein messaged me and was like, great job talking to Destiny. And I was like, thanks, how's everything with you? And he didn't reply. He, just, want, he just really wanted to pat me on the back for He just really, he you. hates me more than he actually likes you. So he just I wanted to. I think that's to, what it is. Yeah, he just wanted to get that needle out into the universe. Exactly. And then yeah. he's like, I don't give a fuck about this girl. Yeah, I think so. <sighs> Did you know that when Hassan and Ethan reacted to a clip of Aiden Ross that they cut me out of the clip for them to plan their stream because Hassan is so afraid. Wait, who and who, you said? Ethan and Hassan. Do you know those two people? From the Leftovers podcast? The two people who we've been talking yeah, about? Yeah. Oh, that okay. when they went to react to a clip of, I think it was Aiden Ross talking, they cut me out of the clip because Hassan can't even see my face. He gets so triggered. What do you think about that? Or maybe they just wanted to generate more views. You don't think my face generates views? In their corner, no. You don't think so? They're very mainstream. Do you know how many views a month I do? I, I, I just talked to Alex Jones on two different panels. What do you mean they're very mainstream? Alex Jones is the definition of not mainstream. Actually, no. He's I mean, he's he's like the biggest non-mainstream. Oh my person. god! What? I didn't know that you were a fucking gold medalist in the fucking mental gymnastics. This is amazing. Sorry, go ahead and explain to me how irrelevant Alex Jones is when we talk about the fucking leftovers Who's podcast. Irrelevant? Not being alternative doesn't mean you're irrelevant. It just means it's like Sneeko's not mainstream. Do you think more people have heard of Hassan or Alex Jones? Mm, Alex Jones. I feel like a lot of people heard about him more because of the Sandy Hook stuff. Before that. Okay, how long ago was the Sandy? How? Like, I would say he's a household name now because okay. of that. But before yeah. that, it was only like okay, so these he guys is. who I liked so he were is like more Q mainstream. Anon who knew who he was. Yeah. They had like the Infowars sticker on their laptop. He is more mainstream. Ethan Klein is super mainstream. So is Hassan. Hassan's Ethan not Klein's, as mainstream, but Ethan he's, Klein's he's there. React stuff was super mainstream. Now he's got like the leftovers. H three is and, like a household name. In which households? Oh, in like yeah. San Francisco, you think H3 for their political stuff now is a household name? Yeah, because he's been pulling views consistently on like hot topics for like 10 years. Do you consider yourself mainstream? <laughs> I mean, you get a lot of views. I'm not saying you're not, you don't have clout, but I think, uh, you yeah, know, I'm about a, I'm about as high as you can get without being mainstream yet. You know, like, I don't I think H3 say. could walk down the street without getting recognized. I mean, I got recognized like four times on the way here, so. We, we did you? We came here together. Uh, in the airport, it was before. I was also at the I airport. You, but it was before I saw you. Oh okay. It was a pilot recognized me, and a black dude. Lots of black people recognized me from TikTok. A, a pilot, lot of a pilot yeah. He was wearing you. the white shirt with the things, and nice. he was like Destiny, and I was like, yeah, that's me. Nice. 
And I was like, hey, just curious. And he's like, yeah. I'm like, you're a pilot, right? He's like, yeah. I was like, you ever heard of H3H3? And he's <laughs> like, what the fuck kind him. of name is this? Is that an airplane? <laughs> and he was like, nah. And I was like, yeah. see you later. I saluted him because I was idiot for pilots. Yeah. My family's Air Force, so, you know. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you rather collab with H3 or Hassan? <laughs> Pro Hassan. Why? Because us fighting would be really funny. It would trigger the fuck out of him. His whole fan base would watch. My fan base would watch. And a lot of people on the right and left would watch. Do you feel like you owe him an apology? No. For what? I read part of the Mr. Girl article, and it seems like you really emotionally affected him. No, that's a lie. I just, I just command F searched Hassan. Yeah, oh, I also you do searched Farha because I want to see Mr. Girl included the part I sent to him about our dynamic. Yeah, he. Did I it. guess that's in the second edition. So. No, I wasn't yeah. cloud enough. He put Hassan in, and Hassan didn't even like have a quote in there. He just needed to name drop him. It was like in the intro too. But Hassan said that you and your community made him depressed, I think. That's really funny, because back then he said that my community, like, made him, period. So it's kind of weird that he changed that going forward. Are those mutually forward. exclusive? Um, not necessarily, but it seems like he had a lot of different things to say back then before he could benefit from shitting on my community. So it's kind of strange, you know? Mm. I mean, I don't know anything about it. You don't think there's any validity? I know you don't. I can so tell by saying? the way that you talk about it. You seem, like, utterly and completely clueless. So I yeah. was just filling you in, you know? Yeah. So did he reach out to you about it and say, like... Hassan or Mr. Girl? Hassan. Like, was he, he like, this he, is an he, issue I want to address, or did he just cut you off? There's not, like, an appropriate level of antipsychotics that he could be prescribed that would allow him to communicate with me without having a full mental breakdown. So, no. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Were you guys, like, good friends or just, like, internet friends? I think we were real-life friends. Oh, we were really? staying at each other's house. I played with his dog. You know? Close guy stuff. That's sad. So if you think he was being insincere about that then why do you think is the reason what's the reason you guys had a falling out then just because you insulted his politics yeah i think that there was a lot of ego stuff related to his political positions i think that was probably the biggest reason i think it was just ego related stuff that'd be my guess mm. it's guy stuff masculine stuff you know you wouldn't really get it because yeah. women don't have egos you know you don't think there's anything he's doing right that you're doing wrong uh he networks really well i could probably do better with that yeah, in terms of just like audience, like the way he treats his audience and... No. Why do you think he has a bigger female audience than you? First of all, I don't even know if that's true. Uh, he probably does, but I would, most of his audience is because he's like, in, he occupies the safest political landscape right now online. But what does so, that have to do with women? Because women... <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, what? Yeah, what? Because women will gravitate towards baseline, fundamental, social signaling, virtue signaling, political positions. Wow. So actually thinking, you're not going to find a fucking woman online that's an actual fucking tanky. You're not going to find a woman online that's an actual fucking Nazi. Going. You're going to find women online this that are like, clip. yeah, yeah. You're going to find women online that are like, oh, like I'm like a trad con or like a red pillar or like a, uh, I'm a socialist or whatever, right? That's like, they're going to be like more. But that's just because the interest online for like hardcore, like, oh, like political shit is usually like masculine and, and okay. What's yes. the leading cause of rape? Keep going with whatever. <laughs> it's men being disrespectful <laughs> towards women and not treating them like the princesses they should be treated as. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Myron. Where is he? He's not here. I don't know what you're looking for. His book. Can, Can you I not just like click around on my... Okay. Google Chrome? A guy's... Yeah, you don't know what you're about to open up. Okay. So let's just slow down there. Okay. Do you want me to go dig through your purse? I don't have one. Why? What do you carry your stuff in? My phone wallet. Do you have like, you have makeup on. Where does it come from? My backpack. Do you carry a backpack with you everywhere you go? Are you fucking door the explorer? <laughs> I do actually carry it everywhere. When you go to a restaurant, do you take a backpack with you? Yeah, haven't you seen me take it? Okay. You can dig through my backpack. Really? Yeah, I just have SSRIs, makeup, <laughs> a book. What book? It was a really interesting book, wasn't it? Yeah. What was it about? I don't know. Oh, no, I'm curious. What, what book are you reading right now? Lolita. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Why is that your favorite book? Um, the sexual imagery. Yeah, with the children? Yeah. Child, one child. One, oh, fuck. Does that make you upset? One very sexy child, is yeah. It, are they real? How old are they again? Uh, like four months. Jeez. Yeah. That's... Even for me, that's pushing it. Yeah. If you Google most controversial books, Myron Gaines' books, book comes right before Lolita, and I think that's a W. 
and that's why we're gonna read it. I also think, okay, this is what I pitched to him as a series. We should just read the most controversial and banned books. I'm okay doing that as with a the fresh club. and fit one, but I don't know about the child about porn. Mind Kampf? That would be boring. Um, but I was thinking like the Lolita one would probably be a little bit too spicy, unless you want to read all the kid sex passages, if there are any. That's like most of the book. Is child sex? That's why it's such a controversial book. It's just the author's fantasy. It's I thought he just wanted to fuck kids. Not actually describes fucking kids. No, it's a sex story about this man and a twelve-year-old. Jesus. Yeah. Awesome. Should we order it? Yeah, let's get the hardback edition. We can get two, so you can read over there, and I'll read over here. Okay. Yeah. Do you guys think that's a good idea? Wait, book? people are saying no. It's not. They read it. Uh oh. No what? They said no. That's not what it's about. <laughs> Have you not read the book? I read it. Really? It's about this man who falls in love with his um, wife's daughter. He's Isn't not that related his... to her. No, oh, okay. No. And he like wants her out of the picture. And the best way is fucking a, your wife's daughter would probably be a really good way to get her to leave. It's because when he's young, he it falls in love with this girl and she dies of like a disease and just the fantasy of her like frozen in time. And, like, Can I get your reaction to this? Old. Yeah. I, I just made my own choices and uh, built my own business model. I, I just want you to react. I would use yeah. a term like that. I paved I like it on shirt. my own because I thought cool. like, I keep watching. this is a concept that I think is cool, gaming. This is a concept that I think you can marry uh, with gaming, political commentary. I paved it on my own. Paved it on my own. I paved it on my own. Uh, uh, shout out! Shout out to Destiny, by the way. Oh, oh yeah, you, I forgot oh, yeah. to say, yeah. Oh, uh, you know, you know. I'm just curious. When he's talking here, can you point out the depressive affect? Point, point to me where he's depressed. I'm just curious. I just want you to. Wow, yeah. that is yeah. so bad faith. No, no, I'm just curious. I just want you to show me. With, like, no, 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 I'm just curious. So, no, 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 point depressed. me, point me out. Go ahead. Okay, we're just gonna keep watching. Go ahead. I'm okay. Cool, yeah. Cool. But when I watched that video, I was like, oh, that's cool. So we have like somebody in the gaming community who's actually pushing back. Hell yes, that's actually yeah. Destiny's the reason why I know about Trihex as well. If Destiny was my roommate, I'd get him laid all the time. I, uh, I, I was like, all right, whatever. Well, I don't have anything. Like, I, I don't have anything. I have no option. I, I'm... The music the makes it so days. sad. So much so... Is there a reason why you feel the need to turn over and talk to me in the middle of the video? There's a minute and 30 seconds left. I've seen this. I need you to watch it again and react. I need you to, to sink in without talking through it. I like seeing your expression because it seems emotional You can you. watch the VOD later of my expression, okay? You can watch it tonight when I turn the stream you? off. Yeah, it's bothering me that you're not focusing on the video. Okay? But I can hear it. Yeah, but you need to see his expression. Where's the, yours find the depression. More, yours is more emotional. Fine, I don't, I'm no, my, I have no emotion. I'm a stoic, red-pilled alpha male. I don't respond to anything emotionally. Anger is not an emotion, by the way. Did you guys ever get like matching tattoos? Wouldn't you like to know? Okay, let's watch. Thing. Like, I, I don't have anything. I have no option. I, I'm in the next 11 days. So much so that, like, Steven was uh, DMing me on Discord and saying, hey, you know what? If you don't have a place to Sounds live, like buddy, like, little you bit, can like, come like, stay with me. It's okay. A what a Why is he crying, though? Because you, when your community made him very depressed. Really? That's not <laughs> what you're hearing right now? Oh, that's interesting. That's the, under, that's the okay. subtext. Oh, cool. That's interesting subtext. Okay, gotcha. The subtext, yeah, is that yeah. D, D, hey, you D, know what? Is if you don't have a place to live, myself. buddy, like you can come stay with me. It's okay. What a good guy. Destiny is a f great guy. Oh yeah, watch out. He weird. And real rowdy. Isn't it kind of weird that he said that? Like I'm a great guy while I'm also making him really depressed, or my community's making him depressed. Like so. Listen. Uh huh. Oh, wait, 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 before you give the full, because we still have, we're not even halfway through, so let's just keep going, okay? Let's also, just keep going. I'm just saying right up, whether or not I agree with you about any of this, I will uh -huh. never take your side against this on, so like... Oh, I know, but at least I just I'm want people to see... I'm going to back on everything you say. I know, say, but I just even, want people to see how bad faith you are. And then you know? afterwards, maybe I'll give That's some okay. opinions. That's all right. I just want people to see how bad faith you are. Public facing. Yeah. I'm Team Hassan. That's okay. Here, for all of you guys, is the... Here, Fish Look, and Desi. We were, he, that was his dog. We had a special bond. You really like dogs. I like animals. That's why I like women. Playing. Bob okay, wait. Hey, listen. I love you. What? I um, loved him. I told a friend that I would play a game with him, and then I have to get ready for that oh, Scott podcast okay. shit. Listen, don't worry. You're going to get all my viewers who want to watch you watch it are going to go to your stream. Oh, okay. okay. I yeah. mean, no, okay. it's fine. I wanted to watch it with you, but it's cool, dude. Friendship is, is uh, just... Friendship. Dead, I guess. <laughs> oh, Speedo McGee is your fan that gave me... 
200 subs so far. No, 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 you're coming, you're coming. I thought this was like a, I thought this was like a convention. I thought this was like a, the young dude. wants horizontally? Because I'm in his room, because we were next to each other. I'm talking at him. Yeah, I'm speaking to him. You're like lying on his bed right now? Yes. That's exactly where I'm at. Herc's like off his- He's inviting me right now to his family Thanksgiving dinner. Sounds like he was a really great friend, and all you did was tell him to kill himself alongside DDG. Wow, D -D -D -D. really? Is that all I said? Interesting. Okay. Let's go to the other side. party. Family party, I told you. Oh, why the f would I go to your family party? I don't know. What the f are you going to do? Sit around and eat Chinese food by yourself while crying? People are people in the chat are like, that sounds like destiny for Look sure. Look at that picture we all took. Wow. Look at how happy he was. Look at how happy I was. Look at that. Best friends. I feel like you should dude, put his arm behind you. Nah, he's protecting me. <laughs> he's my protector. Look. Fan base is wild, dude. All right, you want to go out tonight, dude? I just kind of want to play kill myself tonight. But... What's going on? What's, what happened? Uh, Why are you going to just stiff him like that, dude? That was rude as hell. Who made this? Didn't want what? It. Who made this? It's, it's just, that's my history. Did you tell your editor to make this? No. People just, they know, okay? Oh, you're like standing up for me. Solidarity. It's not gonna brother. hurt my feeling, brother. No, it's fine. No, why the f*** would I help anyone else? You're the only person I've ever done that for. You better feel special. Oh, wow, wow. I do, dude. Well, oh, I mean, I... Super wow. Cute, but <laughs> you're cuter, don't worry. In a different way. You guys wow. had such a strong bond. Don't you think it hurts him? I when paved he hears it on you? my own. Well, no, because he paved it on his own. When Nothing hurts him. When you hear him say this stuff about like, wow. oh, he's not a good political thinker, I have zero respect for him politically. Well, like, don't you feel like you're betraying that bond, a little? Who do you think betrayed who first? I don't know the context. Well, now you do. That gave no context. That, that was gave just you guys, all the like, context you could ever need. Hugging. Oh, okay. That You'll do more research beef. later, I'm sure. Right. Only if. It's on his channel. I like to support Oh, yeah? Him. Well, yeah. he doesn't mention me on his channel. You ever read Harry Potter? Are you going to say Voldemort? Yeah. yeah. That's what I am to him. He who must not be named. That's why they cut me out of that H3H3 leftovers clip. Why do you think that is? Because if he sees me, he goes into shock. But why? Because he's reminded of all of his failures. Like, what? Okay. Like, what does that mean? His failures and what? And like, ascending he, he, to being an actual respectable political figure and not a demagogue for progressive thought while living the most capitalist, consumerist lifestyle imaginable. You think that would warrant him pretending you don't exist? Yeah. You just being smarter than him? I'm a reminder him? of his failures, correct. I'm pretty sure you would concede that there's a lot of people smarter than him in this space. No, he space. wouldn't. He would never say that. He's, I've heard him say it. He says, like, oh, yeah, I wouldn't debate this He also says debate is really cringe, and then he invited that poor black woman on that he was abusing with his Twitter audience to a debate. So what can you really trust? Did he say debate or to discuss this? Oh, I'm sorry. Is it just a discussion now? When they have a disagreement, they want to talk about that disagreement? Yeah. Why did he debate Andrew Tate if he thinks debate is so cringe? Or did he just want to have a discussion with Andrew Tate? Maybe because he thought Andrew Tate was harmful. I feel like that's pretty on brand for his views. Oh, does he think I'm harmful? I don't know. Are you? Well, we disagree on a lot of things. He probably thinks his things are better than mine, so wouldn't I be harmful by definition? Yes, you want him to debate you. I didn't say that. Nice pivot, though. So maybe he doesn't want to say your name because you're going to react to it, and he doesn't want your oh, community. Oh, but now I'm not reacting him. to him at all because he didn't say my name. Yeah. So he's just dumb. You think that? What do you mean? He doesn't mention you. That was like. Yeah, a but video I still reacted you, to him, so it doesn't made. seem like that's a good way yeah, to keep me from reacting. Yeah, because you made a sappy little iMovie compilation. I didn't make that. You think guys? I made that video? I genuinely. One think of us has did. fans here that produces content for us, so okay. What do you mean? Brain rot politics made that? Uh, I don't know who made it. Just one of my millions of talented fans that are constantly. What do you mean? Todd's making me TikTok content this week. For him. For me. Really? He, that's what he said. Oh, okay. He said it's for me to post because he doesn't trust my clipping. That's so crazy. At the end of the podcast. Isn't that so crazy that he, he doesn't goes, trust your clipping? He goes, don't worry, I'm just going to post the full thing. I'm not going to do any crazy editing. And I was like, yeah, I know you reached out to Destiny. <laughs> what, did you tell him that? No. I don't believe it. Well, now you just gave it to the internet, so... Thanks. Maybe I wanted to keep that secret, by the way. Why is it a secret? Because I don't want people to know who I'm talking to behind the scenes. Someone you do a podcast with? Yeah. A public podcaster? Maybe we cut ties publicly. What if we were embroiled in public drama right now and you didn't know about it because you don't keep up with any of that stuff? Can we start one with him? If you want to, go for it. I'll monetize your drama. With Todd? Yeah, go for but it. But he wants to have us both on. I don't care. I'll... Would you go on? I like to talk to people I'm fighting with more than not, so yeah. No, I mean like regardless. Maybe. Why not? Uh, I might be busy at the time he asks me to go on. But can't you just, like, clear the time? Do you, you think I should clear my schedule for him? Why not? Because I might have something really important going on. But if we both went on, it'd be fun. Rochester trip. Will you buy my plane ticket? He will. 
I need you to. I bought my ticket here. Okay. When you bring people here, do you usually pay for their tickets? Uh, it depends on how much I want to see them. Hmm. And you didn't pay for mine, so, yeah. Nice. Right, I gotta try a little bit harder, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I made the mistake of flexing on you, I think that's why. It's a racial thing, don't worry about it. Yeah. Nice. So we could either react to Hassan reacting to Ben Shapiro, or... Do you want to react to Hassan reacting to Ben Shapiro? No, that actually made me sad. I don't want you to have to see that. <laughs> see him killing it, thriving. Yeah. Yeah. I do. Every day I see Hassan, Sunday. I'm just like smashing my fucking wall because I'm so upset. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, this is the content we have planned right now, okay? She wants to read the What is a Woman book, which is fine. I think that'll be what fun. What is a woman? You're, you're thinking oh, of Oh, fuck. Watch. Never mind. <laughs> Wait, have you watched it on stream? No, but I was saying we could watch that. Yeah. Okay. Um, fuck. There was a video that I really wanted you to watch. Oh, no. What was it, guys? We could watch the What is a Woman. But you're like, we're not even going to disagree that much, I don't think. On what? Oh, that was it. You need to watch... The real doll review. What's up? It's a Mr. Girl video. Leave him alone. Let him let him have No, thing. you're going to watch that. No. How long is that? <laughs> you watched the K911, right? Wait, can I even hear? <laughs> yeah, you can hear it you're in your headphones. Can I hear you? I don't know. Can you hear yourself? I just don't think they'd care if they couldn't hear me, so I don't think they would tell us. Well, but can you hear yourself? Why would I not be able to hear myself? Are these noise canceling? No, it's it's a monitor. It plays your own voice in the thing. Yeah, so I'm saying I'd hear myself even if... I Can you hear yourself through the headphones? I don't know. It's very low. Are you... Mine is very low. Are you orally have... retarded? What do you mean? Can you not... Do you, want, do you mean to turn orally, it up? You mean audibly? I've orally. A-U-R-A-L-L-Y really or whatever. Hearing. I told you I have really bad hearing. Do you... Okay, earlier when I turned these up, you made it sound like you had really sensitive hearing. Why can't it be both? Because bad hearing implies I not sensitive. I bad hearing, but you screaming into the mic is still gonna hurt my ears. You yelling at me. Okay, like, What's so you can mind? differentiate between when I'm screaming into the mic and I'm screaming next to you, but you can't differentiate when you're being too quiet and you hear your own voice versus your voice into the headphones. Which is it? You have very selective hearing. You told me that they can't hear me if I'm sitting back here, so I was just trying to check for your I'm, stream. Okay, let me turn. I'm gonna turn your headphones. A lot of up. this anger feels like it's more about Hassan than me. No, it's. I'm not talking I know about Hassan right now. Like dimes, and you're just okay. like, you know what I mean? We both look better in glasses. Not than you, than ourselves without glasses. You look good in glasses too. I haven't seen you in glasses, but I think everyone looks better in glasses. Okay. You seem upset. I'm not upset at all. And I'm always upset. But in a very stoic, unemotional kind of way. I think we need to do like trust activities. What is a trust activity? To bond our friendship. Are we doing a trust? Isn't me being on stream with you kind of like a trust activity? Because I don't know what you're going to clip up to try to like character assassinate me next with. No, because now you have the VOD and you said next time we do something, it's going to be on stream. That's true. So I said I'd, I'd launch the whole VOD. Actually, all I would do is for every single future clip chimp you do, I'm just going to spam with like 20 different accounts. This is what she said about Lolita and child fucking. Yeah. And you're going to be. Yeah. They'll be, they'll be saying the same thing they said about me. They'll be like, oh, I used to like her so much. Mm -hmm. She used to be so based until yeah. she came out pro child fucking. No, my fans will spin it no matter what. No, they won't. The, like, oh, rad, no. rad fans will, like... I'll get a I more... Get a no. And rad fans I'll just find it. another... I'll get a better... I'll get a darker, more diverse stand-in, and she'll take all of your takes, minus the child-fucking ones, mm -hmm. and your fans will all jump ship to her. Maybe. What do you think about the new woman they cast for uh, Lilo's older sister, Lilo and Stitch? The fuck? <laughs> wow. Is Lilo the dog? Why do I care how, how they cast the dog? <laughs> Okay. What? Can you ask Farwa if she'll do a cooking stream for us? I saw a video of her frying an egg once and thought it was innovative. Wait, what? Did you fry an egg once? Wait, what? What? What'd they say? They want to know if you'll do a cooking stream because they saw a video of you frying an egg once. Did you fry eggs once on Mira stream? I was probably cooking while she was streaming. Sure, I don't think I filmed myself cooking an egg. I don't think so. I did one for OnlyFans, but I don't think I ever sold it. What I, does that mean? Is it like a hidden video out there waiting to be unearthed? No, it means I scrapped it. It was too much. Too good. It was really good. Like, I had butter. I, like, sizzled the butter. Did, did you, like... I can't give away free visuals. 
Oh, okay, my bad. But, um, Not even mental visuals? You can't even... <laughs> okay, my bad. Because even me saying it out loud is like, people... They're like, already coming, people basically. People try and pay for me to even just say things off. Do you think tomorrow we should just get a burka for you so that we don't like accidentally reveal too much? Because like, somebody could jerk off to this right What'd now. What do you call it? Isn't it a burka? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we should. Okay. Yeah. Would you still wear the glasses? With the burqa? Yeah. I would. Okay. Would they go under the burqa under, or over? Under. Under? Okay. Yeah. I think that'd look cooler. Are you ready to watch the real girl review? Or the real doll review? It's no, like 18 minutes. I don't want to be part of your drama. No, no, no. I haven't no. picked a song. It's not a drama. It's just a video that he made. I just want your reaction to it. Listen, I need to do some research, find out whose side I'm on. It's not a, it's just that, a, this is the research. That was compelling. It's just a, here, let's, let's just pull chat how they think. Okay. I'm pretty sure you've sent it to me. Um, I don't know. Probably not. Wow. Man. No. How many people are here? Damn. I know. <laughs> Who knows? I'd rather take this time to... Or right, let's check my chat, actually. I can tell you. Okay, there's at least three or four or five thousand, I think. <laughs> um, what are you, are you texting somebody? I'm sorry, are we boring you? No, I was just responding to someone. Okay, yeah. my bad. If you need to do that right now, go ahead and we can wait. That's I've okay. got a game I can play. I just so. smiled coyly at my phone and put it down to add oh. some mystery. So they wonder, like, oh, oh my who god, she's texting. so That's mysterious. Kind of okay, yeah. Um, I'd rather take this time to like solidify the friendship because I think, you know what I mean. It's very rickety. Okay. Well, the thing that I like to do with my new friends is I like to show them videos to get the reaction to it. And the real doll review is like something that would. You've, I've like clicked on it because you sent it to me. Yeah, it's but you didn't watch right? it. So no, there's a non Pornhub one. I just, I don't think we should fix it on him right now. We should fix it on Festiny and the friendship <laughs> growing here and like the trust. Cause I feel That like sounds like the nickname for an STD. Okay. Darha? That sounds like a city in Qatar. <laughs> okay. How can we bond? By watching the real doll video. But that's more for you. No, it's for... Like, you're like, oh, look at my little nemesis laughing. No, it's not me. a nemesis. Like, I just want to get your actual fucking, you know... Wait, let me check my DMs to see if I've been DM'd by... Okay. No, that's fine. The person... Go ahead. ...who I followed. You haven't. <laughs> oh, I met this person. Not, not Hassan. I know, but oh. you haven't. But let's see if Hassan... <laughs> Definitely not. Um... What would it take for us to reach a point where you never burn the bridge with me? Like, no matter what I do, I'm just immune. Um, because we're just, like, best friends. What would it take for you to, like, permanently or just for, like, a limited amount of time? Why can't we just be permanent friends? Why does everything have to be so, like, like every other text well, you send to me Well, because depending on like, whether it's permanent or not would change my answer. Okay, give an answer for both. Well, for temporarily, if you were pregnant and you said that the only way I'm going to have an abortion is if you're a friend with me for like three months, I would be friends with you for three months until you aborted the fuck out of that child. Why? Because I don't need more children right now. So that would be a like temporary one. A permanent oh, one would be with like your child. Yeah. Oh, I was a like, permanent one would be like. I was pregnant. <laughs> let's say uh, you had like a chip installed in my brain or my child's brain or my wife's brain, and then if you could push a button, you could kill us. As long as you had that remote. I stay would friends with me? be friends with you if I thought I was going to die if I was no longer friends with you. Okay. You ever seen Mission Impossible 4? No. Oh. What is it? I think they have that chip. And they stay friends with him? Is that why they do it? No, he kills them in the end because he finds a way to deactivate the chip. So if I found a way to deactivate the chip, I would probably kill you. Oh, okay. So there's nothing I can do to solidify the friendship? Because I feel like you, you burn bridges really easily. Like I clicked on some of your bridge burnings the past few weeks. And a lot of them were pretty chill. Really? Give me one example. Um, this girl with the curly hair. Do you know what I'm talking about? No, you're going to have to give me a little bit more. Oh, wait. Brittany. <laughs> Brittany. Um... 
So I clicked that one, yeah. like a clip, and it was really intense, the thumbnail. So I clicked and I was like, I wonder what they did to- Oh, I missed 50 gifted subs. What? Thank you so much. Wait, was it on kick? Or was it on, I think it was on kick. Thank you on kick for gifting 50 subs. What was the name of the guy that did it? Was it on DGG? Fuck, on DGG. Fuck me, I didn't see it. I'm so sorry. Who did it? Who gifted it? Hold on. Les shoes. Oh no, Rolling Typhoon. Thank you. <laughs> Les shoes. I get it. Good one, dude. Um, Rolling Typhoon. Thank you, my good friend. Can you thank him? Say thank you. Rolling Typhoon? Yeah, for gifting 50 subs. That's almost enough to play for your uh, plane, t plane ticket. I, oh, you're gonna... I was saying if I bought it, it would have paid for you. No. Oh, okay. Well, if you invoice me, maybe. Really? No. <laughs> well, how much was your ticket? Uh, well, I booked a one-way, and it was like 250 Wait, do you think you're gonna like live here, or? Maybe, we'll play by ear. Yeah? <laughs> wow, okay. Yeah. Okay. I told you my, I don't know if you check TikTok, I send you TikToks now, because I'm trying to get you tapped into the zeitgeist. I, I have not watched any TikToks, what did I miss? Oh, I send you a lot. Really? No, just today. Like on TikTok? Yeah. Oh, I don't even know who checks that account, so hopefully it was nothing risque. It's not your account? Yeah, I mean, it is, but I don't check it. There's someone else that runs it. This No, the Stephen bon Bonnell one. Yeah. Someone runs that one, too? Yes. It's not even active. Uh, well, they're doing a pretty bad job then, I <laughs> guess. Why not? We talk on, like, five different fucking chat apps. Why not just use this or Discord or text? I like having many because it makes us, makes me feel closer to you because I'm like, oh, we can talk here about... Do you know what you do? You do something that girls do that's I notice is really funny, that's really cringe, is sometimes if you sent me a message that I haven't responded to yet on this, but then you want to send me a meme, you'll move over to like Instagram and send the meme there because no. you're worried about... Yeah, you've I, done that before. But not with that intention. It's because I'm on a different platform. I'm too lazy to export it. I how how hard is it to copy a link to another I, fucking I to another app? Do I seem like I'm scared of spamming you? Have you seen the length of the messages? Yeah, they're I really send cringe. You? Yeah, okay. I see them and I, I look like, at. I have anxiety. I show all finish. my friends. I'm like, yeah. oof, yeah. Probably like she's a great writer. They're like lav 2.0 actually. Yeah, nice. As I was saying, the yeah. burning I saw it didn't. Wait, seem... so you really you you can't just copy the paste the link to another platform? I'm sorry, can't you just like open a new app? Isn't the reason you got the phone you did is so all your notifications are like in one spot so it's easier to check multiple platforms? Isn't that your whole reason for not getting an iPhone? Steven? <laughs> Wait, did that really happen? What? Wait, did my TikTok guy quit? <laughs> wait, what's his name? What's his name again? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Vertali. <laughs> Do you know which account I'm talking about? Yeah, it's the Steven, it's the verified one. Wait, you didn't follow me on that? I was so flattered, because you only followed five people. That wasn't you? It, I don't know. This. Maybe. But were you the one who followed me? Do you really feel flattered that I only follow five people? I'm glad that shit works on girls, nice. <laughs> Do you remember earlier when you were like, oh, I don't fall for the gimmicky strategy things? Boom. There you I didn't go. Even plan that. That was. That was one. I pray it was probably me. No, the gimmicky stuff sucks. Yeah. Yeah. I just hate when anything feels like it's being calculated or like. Well, obviously, if it feels like it, then it's not gonna work. But even like the subtle things that people maybe not wouldn't pick up on because I overread and I'm very cynical and I'm already looking for a reason to not fuck people, like I'll find it. Jesus, gimmicky. we're just like we're just talking like friendly riz, okay? Who said I was talking about you? What are you talking about? What are you, what are you about talking about? Strategies. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. And I, but I'm saying like people can be friendly too. Why did you make this about me? Following what? five girls work on girls. Wait, oh, so Obviously now you want to talk about me again? Is. Wait, why would that not be friendly? Do you think I'm fucking Adam from No Jumper? Isn't he one of the people I'm following? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> what a contradiction. Mm. Okay, can we re react to this real quick? What is it? No. Wait, it's just, this is a quick TikTok. So, so this is your platform. You love this one. You love TikToks, don't you? Isn't this like your thing? Okay, here you go. You're so funny. Beautiful. What's your son? Capricorn Aries. Oh, I could never. <laughs> What's your son? I'm a cancer. Oh, I could never. 
Oh. And what's your sign? Pisces. We're the same sign. I could never. Oh. I see you. <laughs> and what's your sign? Aries. Oh, no, we can't work. <laughs> You're very beautiful. What's your sign? Aries. What's your sign? I'm a Leo. Who linked this? Okay, never mind. This is stupid. Sorry. I didn't know it was going to be boring. Okay, are you ready to watch the Real Doll review? We can watch it tomorrow if you want, that's okay. Okay, so we're gonna watch Matt Walsh's This Is A Woman. Well, that's gonna be so boring if you watch that. It won't, I feel like we disagree about trans stuff. Are you like a big turf? No. Yeah, you had to think about it, so you are. I forgot if turf meant pro or anti. It means anti-trans. Exclusionary, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no. But I still feel like we can differ. We can still be pro-trans, but differ about it. Because after hearing your debate today, I was like, yeah, I don't agree. Uh, okay. Destiny, when I streamed your stream on TikTok, your shit got flagged and shut down twice, so I stopped. You're not PC enough for TikTok. Oh. <laughs> Why didn't he send me a message? Well, I guess I'm looking for a new tick. No, I think that was just about streaming on TikTok. What is this? What? Ragepub, why did you link this? Virus, okay. Okay. <sighs> okay. So real doll tomorrow, you said? This is a, what is a woman, why women deserve less okay. rape debate. Okay, after the real doll. The rape debate? Sure. How long is the real doll? It's like 18 minutes. We could watch it right now if you wanted to. I don't understand. If he's trying to ruin your life, why are you platforming him? I'm not platforming. It's just an interesting video. You are you like it? Yeah. I want to see if you like it. Or are you going to make fun of him? I don't no, I'm not making him. fun of anybody. I just want you to watch the video and get your feedback on it. If you're going to bully him, I'm not going to be there for that. I'm not here to bully people. I don't do that. Mm. I'm not a bully. I'm an equal opportunity platformer. Mm. Okay. Tomorrow, that's fine. Yeah. I think if you just, like, looked in the camera sincerely and said, I'm sorry, Hassan, that he'd... Go ahead. That he'd come Apologize. You apologize. For, Hassan? Yeah, for bringing him up so many times for no reason on this stream. What do You're you mean for no reason? dragging his name right now. We have a strict policy where we don't talk shit on other streamers. I didn't talk shit on him. You did. You brought him up to dig into our fight. You were instigating. No. You know you were instigating. No, I was curious. Did you see two weeks ago I tweeted that I am on neutral terms with everybody? That includes Hassan. I think Hassan is fine. I think it is good work until he shit talks me again. And then I'll burn him to the ground. But right now, me and Hassan are chill. We're cool. Mm. Mm-hmm. So, how do I become immune? You didn't tell me a real reason. The answer that I always give people is we have to go through a serious situation where you have the opportunity to fuck me over at great personal gain to my detriment, and you choose not to. If you can survive so one or two of those, then I'll trust you. But until then... So dramatic. That's life. It's dramatic. Welcome to reality. What are you, 19? I wouldn't call that reality. I would call that thinking you're in a movie. Well, my life is pretty cinematic. Like some like emperor that people want to like. No, just a main character. Shoot your head off. Maybe the main character. A lot yeah. of people do want to shoot my head off. Do you actually feel that way? Do you actually yeah. feel like people are constantly conspiring against Absolutely. you? Absolutely. Yeah. Hmm. Why do you think that is? Because they do. Why you more than Hassan? Because I'm controversial. Because <laughs> I don't that. occupy the safest political space that can exist on the internet. You think it's purely based in politics? Well, politics and like socio politics, yeah. Sociopolitics? Like social issues, like political issues revolving around social, like LGBT stuff and Islam and all that, yeah. So you don't think it's about how you like engage with people? Just it is how I takes. engage with those issues, yeah. But not with people, just like the Well, it's how I engage with the people on those issues, yeah. Hmm. Lav is currently online right now. Do you want to talk to her? Maybe she'll talk to you on my stream. Sure. Yeah? Sure, why not? Are tell, you serious? Tell Lav that there's a really big TikTok. So will you plug her TikTok if you chat with her? Plug whose TikTok? Lav's TikTok. Plug her TikTok? Yeah. If she chats with you here, will you say like, hey, shout out to Lav Loon. You know she wrote a song that Billie Eilish likes. Did you know that? You told me, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. 
super cool. I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't really know Billie Eilish's taste. So Do you know, know who Billie Eilish is? Yeah. She's a pretty big deal. Yeah, but I'm just saying, just because I like her songs doesn't mean I would like every song she likes. So It's not about liking every song she likes. It's about real, recognize honor. real. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Live compared you to Harvey Weinstein again? Yeah, she's making some very interesting accusations. Is she really live right now? <clears throat> Hold on, let's see. Let's see what she's up to right now. <clears throat> Is she live right now? Destiny on tomfoolery. Oh my God, live. So yeah, I think I think the nuke was first. just general retaliatory behavior by Steven. Oh, like, she's making up more shit about me. Do you see what I mean when I yeah. say this is like people are you know yeah. constantly conspiring against me and yeah, you know why I feel that way sometimes. Mm. <laughs> kind of because of stuff like this, but you know, what are the chances that we would just open a stream and she's on somebody else's show talking about me? You know. Well, I mean, they just told you that, right? Yeah, but I mean, like, it's not like we brought up Lav because she was on the show. You just happened to bring her up. And yeah. Why don't you just invite her on and squash it? Think that it was like... Squash. Well, yeah, let's see what you she's... You understand that the retaliatory uh, behavior wouldn't exist if she doesn't give the DMs, right? Like, that conversation is what oh, causes no, the uh, no, to I No, I think it was... Yet. No, I think it was completely fair to... Because at that point, they had been, like, fr f fine friends, right? And they're... they're... <laughs> hey, if you want... I have a large TikTok star who specializes <laughs> in <laughs> power, differential, in, understandings, in look bad. online related to large figures. Her name is, what is your name? Farha Speaks or something? What is it? What? <laughs> what is your name? It's just Farha. My last name is Khalidi, not Speaks. <laughs> she would love to jump onto your show <laughs> and chat with Lav Loon. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, you oh, know. you have him on, on Discord? I, I have everybody. I know everybody. Yeah. That's what happens when you have a main character. You should play it and see if he mentions it. Okay, let's find out. I think it's completely within reason to think that after she revamped it, that he would just right? fucking go just as hard as he did oh, the first sure. time. But that, that's what I'm saying is that, like, that call is what revamps it, right? That call. So, like, him saying, give us the DMs because Destiny is going to drop a nuke. It, he's not going to drop a nuke. No. He doesn't give the DMs. But her you people obsess over that a lot. Can't you just send the message out there and trust? I mean, we're kind of, aren't we waiting on it right now? No, but I mean, like, you do this, like, you did this with the iPhone shit, too. You're like, I can't text you. Why? I need to see if you got the read receipt. No, because you have Android, and it doesn't say deliver, and so I don't know. Who cares? Just send the message and see what happens. Trust the universe a little bit. I live in a house with barely any service. Asking you to understand that people are going to see that. Then, then if, if I don't respond, then send a message the next day. Why do I have to, like jump around for you why can't you just go on i asked do you have telegram and you said yes uh, why can't we just talk on telegram because now we talk across like four different fucking apps no we don't we do we literally just talk on telegram and on instagram when i send you hassan's sexy photos and once. sometimes on discord no a couple times no we don't talk on discord really if i look this up we're not gonna have any messages whatsoever I'm sh that's not the same as <laughs> ah there you go okay i'm sure you're like farha hi get on discord. have we texted before you said Steven slash Destiny here. <laughs> okay, so there you go. That's four right there. And then I said, can, so can we then switch to Telegram? You're fucking lie. You're a liar. Okay, hold it's on. It's sort of like, what is wrong with you? I love this guy. I don't guy. know. It, he reminds like me of Nebraska. Who, just like, like looking at him. Back to like her abusive boyfriend. At oh, some wait, point, you just kind of want to shake her and be like, dude, you have to fucking uh -oh. go to the police. You have to say something. So I know that that could be manipulative, and I don't know what ma like. Like I also said, I wasn't. How, imagine we haven't interacted in like five months, and she, I'm still like the most important thing in her mind. That she's running around talking. To her. Imagine that effect I have on people. Isn't that crazy? You know what kind of person has that effect on people? Main character. I mean, you just talked about Mr. Girl. I'm a main character. Mr. Girl, you keep talking because they're still talking. Video. He just wrote a 150,000 word essay on me. Do you think I'm more obsessed with him than he is with me? Wasn't this that logs? A lot of it was that he actually took the time to transcribe with his fingers. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no way. No. <laughs> yeah, no. Wait, did she just say no to talking? Okay. No! Uh, Hold on. Did she? Okay. Um, I just sent Wait, you a DM. Back. Uh, he sent her the DM to. <laughs> and she said no. Uh, yeah, no way. No. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay. Damn. This girl has um, 100 million <laughs> <laughs> followers. Duh. She can speak to me alone. Uh, Farha, if, if you want to speak to me alone, we can. But I, we're not going to do this whole 
uh, I'm not gonna like be debated out of any, like I'm not gonna Her do abuse. this whole thing. I'm not live. trying to debate you, I'm on your side. I'm on your she side. Can't, she can't hear you, it's, you're <laughs> talking to a video, you know? When it's clipped and she sees it, I'm on your <laughs> side. I don't know the situation, but I hate destiny, so okay, I'm on your so side. The, okay, so. But <laughs> I'm fucking him up, so he's getting rattled. Like that, Thank you for asking me also. Yeah, you, you're saying you don't remember that, right? <laughs> Uh, no, but you, as you're explaining it to me, I think I sort of get it. I just don't think that it's like, I don't think it's like one tangible nuke or something. Like in the same way that like we talked about like the Hassan nuke, I don't think it's something like that. Hassan, everyone. Oh, the Hassan nuke is when she falsely accused him of having sex with an underage person and I was like, oops, tee hee. What? Yeah. If, if he does it, it's okay. Do you think that's funny? <laughs> Play it. Oh, you got a keyboard. Okay. I do. Um, Why? I thought you were like an expert typer who didn't need a keyboard. Or didn't need how the others. fuck do you type without a keyboard? You didn't have a keyboard with <laughs> Are you okay? You didn't have letters, There's remember? Songs. There you go. You stumbled way too much into that. Okay. But why did um, you get a new so one? If because this one has... it's Because it has letters? It has to do with the response rate of the keyboard. You wouldn't understand. It's highly technical. Okay. You just forgot where the letters are. No, I know where the letters are. If you felt uncomfortable through some of this, did, why wouldn't I didn't, I didn't feel uncomfortable through it until Steven started actively, like obliterating my reputation by telling his fans that I was abusing him and I was and I was extremely manipulative. And this is before anything went down. This is like this is before. It's funny that she says this, but I was like simping hard for her the entire time to my fans. I was telling him, I think Lav is actually really smart, and I think you guys should be less mean to her. But in her mind, apparently, I was destroying her reputation. What an interesting take on that. I had the same thought about you. Shut up. Oh my God. <laughs> Listen, so basically you say all these nice things to me. This was like my paranoia. You had paranoia about me. This was my moment of paranoia, okay? Uh-huh, yep. So basically I see where she's coming from. This is why I'm team Lavloon slash team oh. Billie Eilish. Oh, okay. good. Me, her, Billie Eilish girl squad. Listen to this. Okay. Listen. So I felt like... Uh, I didn't know you super well, and you would say all these nice things to me. You're like, Farwa is not pretty smart. Not that nice. Smart. Not that nice. Farwa's pretty smart. Yeah. She's I pretty said cool. You, were okay. you Go guys ahead. shouldn't be so coomer brained, whatever. Yep. Um, and then when the clip chip stuff happened, I saw you were like messaging your Discord, being like, I shouted at her, whatever. So, I, and then I would be like, What's going on? Why is this happening? You're, are you mad at me? And you're like, No, I'm not mad at all. And then in this chat, you were like, I shouted at her. So I thought you wanted to send your fans after me, but still be friends with me. So I thought you just couldn't, you, you didn't have the balls to say it to my face that you were mad at me. Is that true? Yeah, I would be so scared of telling you that I'm upset at you. Why does, I don't understand why this fucking chat freezes so much. I don't know if it's the chat or if it's OBS. Okay. Are we done with this? This is like right after he called me dumb bitch, and I was like, "Hey, dude! Like, when you called me Why dumb bitch, call it like really dumb bitch." Because she was being a dumb bitch. Damn. He opened up like a. She has a habit of interrupting people over and over again to make snide, cutting, sarcastic, and stupid remarks, and she did it like the fifth time for me, and I fucking lost it. It was too much. I couldn't handle it. On a fucking hate, and I like don't appreciate you doing that and then him telling me the vod is still up i think of him being like you're using darvo right now with me just being like i just wanted you to acknowledge she's a darvo master do you know what darvoing is what's that darvoing is when uh when somebody's got you in the corner and then you whoosh, flip around and you put them in the corner so darvo would be like imagine i come home and you in an autistic fit of rage break <laughs> all of my dishes okay and i come home and then i step on the floor and i cut my foot i'm like fuck i'm like far out. there's Broken dishes all over the floor. What the fuck are you doing? Mm. And then you come out of the bedroom and you're like, I was upset when I broke those. And you're attacking me right now from my feelings and blah, blah, blah. And now, even though you fucked up and you made the mistake and you hurt me, now all of a sudden I feel like somehow my feelings are wrong and I'm actually the one at fault. And you do that every single time. Yeah. It's a pretty common like girl tactic, I think, mm. to just like not take accountability for anything you do and then always reverse it and make the other person responsible. I don't feel like that's a girl thing. I feel like a lot of guys do it too, I know. Really? Maybe they're trans. <laughs> mm. You really think just women do that? I've never had a guy do it to me before. But aren't most of your friends women? So wouldn't that like skew the stats? What? <laughs> Why do you always look at me like you hate me? Why do you think I hate you? I thought we were friends. Oh, so it hurt my feelings. Sometimes Mr. Girl will make a really outrageous statement. And then he doesn't really provide anything more. 
and it makes you feel like a little bit mentally fucked when he just stares you down. <laughs> okay, that's what you're doing? It's such a cold stare. And it's really uncomfortable. Yeah. It's hard to read because you look like kind of sad, but also like you're thinking like, I hate you. And then it just makes you want to say something to fill the silence and then to win my approval back, but you'll never get it. I'm and actually just keep very looking comfortable at you with silence. Like this. Really? Like we could do this all day. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll remember that. Yeah. Things and that you need to take a little better care of your audience and my reputation because you are like the head honcho. Here's the dumb bitch. Your clip. problem, Lab, is you are assuming that Cherry is like just fucking lying. Okay. Now it he could did be. Just lie. It could be. Okay. Just I lie. need background on who Cherry is because I saw. You don't need any of that background. <laughs> just listen to what they're. Okay. Because I saw. Problem. Like... You can play it. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Who is Cherry? Because I saw this clip. It's a long story. You don't need like, to know. Where it was like Destiny talks about the snake on Farha drama. Cherry was instigating, and she was like. Let's skip ahead to Farha. Farha, am I saying her name right? And you didn't correct her. And I was like, you bitches. And she was just like, if I was being uncharitable, I would think the way to get into your orbit is to screw you over. And I was like, first of all, I didn't screw you over. I don't exist in your orbit. Like you need to, you guys need to get over yourselves a little bit. We did one stream together. I live across the country, but anyone who interacts with you just exists in your ecosystem. Yep. I'm a pretty so, big sun. I got a lot of gravity. You yeah. Know? And even though we did the stream before I quote unquote fucked you over, apparently the way to get into your orbit is to fuck you over, you know? That's what Cherry said, you know? If yeah. you got an issue, take it up with her. She might even be listening right now. Well, I was just curious, like her background, like does she just ask, th ask things neutrally or is that like, do you guys drama farm together? She's not a drama farmer. She, she's my friend that's a little crazy but no she's crazy and then she grounds me by giving me perspective not in orbit as she's at his house how like what kind of take is that you went to my house were you in my orbit that week or it only at no i was capturing you into my orbit oh because as anywhere you go anyone's just like basically in the orbit. how many more times do you think i'm gonna go to, so to that house how many more times am i gonna go to that house i mean how many times am i gonna go to that house i moved out exactly because you got pulled out of orbit <laughs> Anywhere you go, the people are in your orbit, even in my house, my city. Alex Jones came on one panel with me and he couldn't even resist. He came back a second time. Mm. Yeah. What do you think that says about me in my true. orbit? Yeah. Yeah, it is true. Your problem, Lab, is you are assuming that Cherry is like just fucking lying, okay? Now, it he could did be. She just lied. It could, she did just lie. Saying something that yeah. is not true is not yeah. the same as lying. Do you understand that? Oh God, and she does this fucking face. What I'm saying is so obviously true. You understand that, right? Saying something that's not true is not lying, I right? I wasn't listening. I was wondering who Cherry is. Okay, stop thinking about Cherry. <laughs> listen to the listen to the video, okay? Look. Tell Cherry to hop on. Stop. Problem lab is you are assuming that Cherry is like just fucking lying. <laughs> I didn't even realize okay? Zerka's even... Now, it... <laughs> Zerka's. <laughs> Bro, Zerka's so funny. Okay. Okay. Could she be. Just lie. It could. She did just lie. Saying something that is not true is not the same as lying. What do you understand that? Doing? Okay, you you do not have the attention span for this. Okay. No, I'm Where sorry. Are we back? No, no, okay, sorry. I care. Okay, no. I care. No, it's all good. We're back here. No, I, I care. Show me one more time. Too late. Third time. It's too time. late. Show me Subway Surfers Center. <laughs> Show it to me. It's okay. Do it. This is how we build the bond. Me allying with you, even though you never ally with me. <laughs> Your problem, Lab, is you are assuming that Cherry is like just f lying. Okay. Now it he could did be. She just lied. It could, she did just lie. Saying something that is not true is not the same as lying. Do you understand that? So you're saying, um, saying something that's not true isn't the same as lying because she didn't mean it. Like she made. Correct. A she made a mistake. So when she th said the thing about Hassan, do you think it was a mistake? No, she's lying. Oh, okay. But I know that because the dates don't line up. She knows the ages of everybody involved. She absolutely does. You can look at their birthdays and you can look at when they were together. Nobody was underage. That's why I knew when she told me this privately that it was false. I had a friend that looked it up and he knew it was false. And that's why I told everybody else that wanted to talk about it, Train Rex and Zerka, that it was false. Yeah. So she was lying. I like her room. Yeah? <laughs> like, when was this filmed? 
uh, like I don't know, probably seasonal, about a year ago, seven months ago, eight months ago. Or just a casual, like an annual, like a constant pumpkin. Yeah. What is this? I don't know. It looks like a microphone. Probably a blue snowball. Hmm. Black edition. Nice. I get scared to sit like this. Yeah? Yeah. Don't you always wear, like, pants? Yeah. So what are you scared about? Do you have a hole in them? Yeah. There? I just have holes everywhere. Glory holes. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, I don't. Okay, sure. Let me explain. No, no, stop. No, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. I don't, I don't. Stop. Okay. A lie <laughs> implies intent. Okay. If I tell you no. I'm gonna be home by five, yes, it does. You dumb bitch. <laughs> if I tell you I'm gonna be home by five p.m. today and I run late from work and I get home at like five twenty, I didn't fucking lie These to reactions you. Reactions are so it ended up good. Not, not being First true. First of all, don't talk to me like that. Okay. Don't, then stop. Don't Hold on. Stop. Stop. Bitch. You're actually triggering the fuck out of me. Holy shit. Stop. There is a difference between a lie and being wrong about something. Okay. Okay. It could. Pause this. Pausing. So, on your panel today. You were talking about the difference between, like, insults and gendered insults. Mm -hmm. And you were saying, like, in a Call of Duty lobby or whatever, people might call you, like, the F-slur and all these things, but it's not going to hit you as hard because mm -hmm. it's not specific. So, like, if you guys are talking about, like, debate stuff and maybe she feels excluded from that, don't you feel like that's a gendered insult? I don't think she feels excluded at all from this. She was, like, the star instigator slash debater on my I'm stream saying, I don't think for, like, a month. If you called her a dumbass, I think she was mad that you said dumb bitch because that's, like, that feels gendered. Oh, maybe. But, I mean, like, she uses this word all the time and she uses gendered insults against women all the time on my stream anyway. So like, I, I wouldn't be game. mad if someone called me a dumbass. But if yeah, but if you were, if you were on my bitch. stream and you were attacking other women for being involved in, like, sex work or calling other women bitches, I would call you a dumb bitch. So you get to choose when to make gendered insults? No, you get to choose. If you want to go down to that level, I will gladly go down and join you. But she didn't call them dumb bitches. She absolutely has called women bitches and made fun of them for sexual-related things on stream before. She said sex workers are dumb bitches? Or whores, or contributing to the sublimation of women, or et cetera, whores. et cetera. I, people can go find the fucking clips. Yeah, she does shit like this all the fucking time. Yeah, that's the whole reason. I wouldn't call like any random woman like a dumb bitch or whatever. But I thought the whole point is gendered insults are just wrong. I never said gendered insults are wrong. Sometimes I just said they can feel exclusionary. So you're okay with making her feel excluded if... In this case, when she's being this fucking retarded? If she yeah. doesn't have the same political opinion? It's not the same political opinions. It's thinking that lying is just when you're wrong about something. But when you're at that point, you're not even engaged in the conversation where you're just being bad faith. You're being a fucking retard or a dumb bitch. Mm. Nice. Is this the full club? It's good enough. Okay. Uh oh. What? What? <laughs> Cherry's here. <laughs> Do you want to talk to her? Look, my fans make good fan art of her. <laughs> A film from. Oh. Do you know the movie this is based off of? Everything, everywhere, everywhere all at once. I thought I should make you watch that movie, but you'd probably hate it. God, fuck, you just don't like any movies. Cheaper by the dozen. Shut up. <laughs> no, you have to, there's gotta be like good movies. You're gonna watch the Scott Pilgrim movie. You'll like that one. That's a cute movie. Mm -hmm. It's a, And it's a good movie. Like, super bad, I can be like, okay, fine. But if you don't like Scott Pilgrim, you just have, you're just mind fucked. Yeah. Cause that's an actual, it's a good movie. Okay. I just think comedies are tough if you don't know people that well, because like then you're dying laughing and everything, and it makes it look like I have a bad sense of humor if I'm not laughing. Right no, no, now. I it's that's not like a dying laughing movie. It's just a good, actually directed well, high quality <laughs> film. <laughs> no, wait, come back. <laughs> Her favorite movie, by the way, is fucking Marley and Me. That was a joke. And a really? Good one. Okay, what's your favorite movie then? Mm. <laughs> She's trying to think of ones without dogs. <laughs> She's like, Air Bud. I was just about to say that. I was just about to say that, yeah. Okay, Air Bud Who is a good movie, though. Who keeps ditching us? It's Cherry. She's... Is this a game you guys play? She's trying to figure her mic out, I think. Oh, okay. 